Good morning, Millennium students. My name is Sean Santos. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. All right, getting started. Give our new teachers a chance. Uh, they're new here. They're new like you guys. And uh, we've had experienced teachers here in the past, you know, and, you know, they were like our new teachers here. You know, they're just getting experience. And I've met them all personally, and they're just great people in general. And I like them a lot. Yeah. Yep. Give them right. a chance. Yes. All right. Our community service hours will not be able to be checked online until September 1st. Um, for those of you who are still doing community service hours, make sure that you're using the new 2013-2014 school form. Those will be able to uh, be downloaded and printed either at home online or through the counseling office. So make sure you guys pick those up before you start any kind of uh, big activities. Yeah. So Friday is our very first round of the year, Black and Gold Day. So come out there with your Black and Gold Spirit wear. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. It's a great opportunity to win uh, Spirit Nest points. So make sure you guys all dress up in a really spirited out there. And hopefully you guys' Nest can maybe win something this year. Yeah. All right, now to baseball with the Falcon. There's going to be a baseball meeting tomorrow at lunch, M1, 12.30, for anybody interested in playing baseball, especially the freshmen. We have seven returning players, and we're excited about the next upcoming season. Thank you, Falcon. Back to you, Gumball. <laughs> Thanks. All right, for all of you guys that are going to be interested in helping uh, with the float this year for homecoming, it's really important that you guys get started uh, right away talking to your nest leaders and trying to put together a meeting or some kind, either during lunch or after school, to start figuring out how it is you're going to build things. Uh, Keshel already has that together. They'll have a nest meeting tomorrow uh, to discuss their homecoming float in M1 with Miss S. So if any of you guys are interested in helping, which should be all of you, you should go to M1. For sure. All right. So this is our second year of having a student council board. Currently, student council officers are voted within this leadership class. It's a lengthy application process, and then they are selected by a pretty important committee. We're hoping that next year's student officers will be the entire student body rather than just this leadership class. And now to introduce your officers. My name is Erica Dominguez, and I'm a student body historian. I document MHS events and activities. And I'm also the photographer for our student yearbook. My name is Don Oliveri. I am the student body secretary, and my job is to document all meetings and events for the student body. My name is Allison Oswin, and I'm your student council treasurer. I help manage the budget, and I also deal with all the finances for all the events at school. My name is Andrew Gambali. I'm the student body vice president, and basically I bring Bethel coffee, and I park her car. No, but seriously, um, I'm just kind of Bethel's partner. Uh, if you guys need anything done and you can't reach the president, come to me. I'll help you guys out with anything that has to be done on campus or off campus, and I'm really excited to be in this position. My name is Bethel Zawalim, and I'm your student body president. My job is to be the voice of the youth students. If you have any ideas or concerns, please come see me. I also represent the student body at the board meetings, so I'm really excited to be in this position, and I'm hoping to help our school as a whole. Go Falcon! Looks like we're going to have a great year. Yeah, I'm looking good, VP. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> let's get a Falcon Pride out three. One, two, three. Falcon, Falcon Pride! Pride. Stay classy, Millennium. Millennium.